You can put that on your LinkedIn, all right? And at this time, I was sitting in this bathroom, somebody enters in the Target bathroom with me and he comes into the stall next to me. Now, at this point, I didn't want him to know I was in there, okay? Because then it just turns into this awkward Skyping poop call with two people just right next to each other. So I just remained quiet this entire time. But by remaining quiet, I created a whole new moment of awkwardness, of quietness, okay? It was so quiet I could hear a fly fart. It was just, you know, it's like a soft angelic whistle. It's actually quite beautiful. And at this point, I'm sitting in this stall, and I'm thinking to myself, it's a Monday. I got nothing going on. I'm so clear, I'm dang scotch tape, I got nothing going on, okay? So I decided to release a soul-ripping scream right there into the bathroom, okay? And this guy absolutely freaks out. He goes, what? What? Hello? Look, I appreciate the help, but I, I have anal muscles, man. You about scared the crap right out of me. Jeez, I don't know if you're dead or alive at this point. And I can tell he's getting ready to look under the stall to see if there's somebody in there, right? And I know this because he hits his head on the toilet paper. Then he goes, oh! And as, as he looks under, I pop my feet up, right? I didn't want him to know I was in there. And I can really tell what he thought when he looked under, just... Oh! Oh! Just had no idea where the sound was coming from. And at this point, I let tensions die down, right? And he starts pooping again. I can hear the grunts again, the splooshes, plop. And at this point, I'm sitting in the stall and I'm thinking, Monday. I'm gonna do it again, okay? I really store right there in the stall, okay? This guy freaks. Oh! I can hear what it sounds like. He's about to put on his pants, exit the stall, and come and look to see who it is. And that's what he does. He goes, psh, psh. he comes in, and at this point, what he didn't know is by the time it took him to finagle his pants on, I slipped out of my stall into the stall right of his, okay? So when he came into that stall, I just psh, Okay. I see what's going on here. Your tormented soul trapped within these stall walls. Look, if you just let me excrete this dark matter quietly, safely, I will present you with many solids, okay? Just do me this one. And at this point, he backs out, and he goes back into his stall, he starts to poop again, okay? And all the while, I'm in my stall, kind of like this. <laughs> perched like a gargoyle on the seat. And I think, it's a Monday. I gotta do it at least one more time. <laughs> and this time, I don't just scream, I yell, run, right? And I'm telling you, I release the cracker right there in the bathroom. It's like a whale gave birth to a roaring T-Rex uppercutting a Play-Doh can. The hair stood up on my arms, a little bit of pee came out too, blood pee, because it's that loud. And as my foot slips into the stall, I just, it releases more energy to the, run! He freaks out so much that he explodes out of the stall and runs out into Target. And as I walk out of the stall, I just pump up my fist and I think, I am the Master Commander. <laughs> I don't know why, this felt right. But as I was standing there, I noticed something. This man had left his pants in the stall. <laughs> that means he got so startled that he slipped his sneakers out of his khakis and ran out in the target in his beefy hands. At this point, I had to tell somebody this, right? So I go to a target employee, I'm like, hey, I don't know what happened. <laughs> but somebody left their pants in the stall, in the, in the, in the bathroom. And he's like, oh, freaking again. 